Hi everybody, this is Luke. There might be different reasons behind why you guys like my contents. Maybe you are DIY persons like me and you like the idea of building things in order to have more control and be free from any retailer. Or maybe you like one of the conversion kits I talked about in the past months. They are actually pretty cool considering the incredible value for their price. If you have the time and willingness to install them on your own, of course. You might also be a bike enthusiast, exploring ways to squeeze more out of your beloved cycle. You might just care about the environment or you're starting to realize how much of your cash flows every day into fuel costs, insurances, taxes, in one word, your heavy bulky car. I consider myself all of these things and in this video I want to talk a bit less about my experiments and spend a little more time to present myself. I'd like to explain why I don't need a car and how I freed myself from it. Before starting I want to point out that this is not a right or wrong content. I don't want to demonize cars which are sometimes lifesavers. I just want to enlighten, if you didn't realize yet, the idea that cars may not be the only possible mean for all your transportation needs, and that most of the times they are the worst investment, not simply for our environment, but for your wallet. When I was a kid, I spent most of my childhood in Puglia, southern Italy. Back then, and sometimes still today, having a motorized vehicle over there was the only possible way to go from point A to point B. But I was a kid and my parents were too busy to drive me around to my friends' house parties. My only chance was using a mountain bike. An old one with V-brakes and only front suspensions. And it did the job. Quite well, actually. I learned how to invest part of my saved money into a better jacket against cold and rains. After some time, I started repairing computers as a part-time job. And after, in order to attend university courses, I eventually convinced my parents to buy me my first motorized scooter. Of course, my friends started to put hands on it, making it more powerful, smelly and noisy. I also started to drive my mother's car an old, lovely session wagon that allowed me to move a lot of PC cases and way more friends to even bigger parties. The issue with cars is, as you may already know, the huge maintenance cost. I mean, all of it. From tire replacement, to fuel, passing through annual technical maintenance, brakes, drive belts, lights, candles, taxes, insurances. That thing is a black hole, where all of your savings just get sucked up. Doing maintenance yourself is every year more difficult, and parts cost is simply unsustainable. It's kind of the same with motorbikes. Even if most of these costs are usually half those of a car, and at least what I love the most, you don't get stuck in traffic jams, hating yourself and the whole world around you. Exactly what we see in car advertisements, right? Growing up, I moved away to attend Master's University and after that to start working on contracts for software companies. In Rome, you have public transportation and even the metro. Well, sort of. As a lot of people from Rome knows, that service is mostly unreliable. Buses sometimes just don't show up and scheduling your arrival time is mostly impossible. After a few painful years using public transportation, I was eventually able to buy myself my first motorbike. I love motorbikes, but I'm not like most of motorcycle lovers. I don't go crazy for the noise and I don't like their smell. I also don't think that having full control over your clutch is always a good to have. It can be in some very specific situations, but within the city, while weaving through traffic, sometimes I personally find it very distractive. Until you try an automatic shifting one, or an electric bike for that matter. 
I was in Paris when I started experimenting with electric transportation. I'm still feeling a little bit skeptical, if not even scared, about driving electric scooters in particular. Probably because I'm a tall driver, or maybe it's the uncertainty related to how much unstable that thing becomes when you need to emergency brake. By the way, when I tried an e-bike for the first time, I was amazed. All the freedom and comfort I always knew, plus what I always dreamed of when I was a child, pedal assistance. When I discovered that it was actually possible to have the bike that you love the most and simply convert it to electrical for an infinite small fraction of the cost of a car, without any noise, any smell, free to go wherever you like in the city, while still having control over shifting, I became young again. I started going to work every day with that thing and I remember that I was so happy every morning just because I have the chance to get on that weird thing twice every day. And guess what? You can still use it when it's raining or when it's cold. You just need the right clothing. For me it's mostly a matter of reason and distance. If I need to find a friend within the city or if I just want to cruise around, I usually grab my one wheel. If I don't feel any pressure, I'll just have a walk. To enjoy a bit of country road, there's my Tongsheng based old red bike. Yes, the one from when I was a kid, still rocking. If I need to go to the grocery store or to cover between 15 and 40 kilometers in total, I usually opt for my Bafang e-bike. Don't forget that you can also bring your bike with you on a train. And finally, for longer trips, I can get on a motorbike and enjoy the ride. And if I need to go for a very long trip, or if there's people or stuff to move around, maybe for some vacation time, I will go for a car. I can say that what saved me was staying away from buying any car at all. It's like an endless cycle, once you buy the first one, you might never stop buying it again. For the cost of a car, you could get three times the electric bike of your dream. Sometimes for your job, you just need a car, as simple as that. You might be forced to go miles away, cars are lifesavers. It is also true when you have kids. I still drive cars today when I need to. It's just not the first thing that comes to my mind when I think about transportation. If you know that you really need it, well, you should have one. In the end, the only important question we should ask ourselves is, do I really need a car like today? I can guarantee that the first time you try something else, being it a motorbike, an electric bike, a four-wheeled electric vehicle or even a one-wheel, and you realize what you really like to drive, you will start using your car way less than before. And you will find out how much more happiness and joy of life that alternative will bring to you. You just have to give it a try. And if you need a few ideas, you can start watching some of my videos. I will link some of them here on screen. In the meantime, what's your relationship with cars? How frequently do you use them? Let me know in the comment section of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done yet. And if you like this video or if you find this information useful, or in both cases, you can show your appreciation by hitting the like button. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.